I was around 17 years old when this story took place. I live in a relatively safe neighborhood in California with my parents. It was in the evening when my parents told me that they had a few errands to run and that it will most likely take all night. Although I was only 17, my parents never let me stay home alone and feared that someone might break in or something else might happen. However, this time around, my parents gave me the option if I wanted to stay home. And of course, after hearing this, I said yes. I figured that it was going to be pretty fun, seeing how I had the whole place to myself. I could practically do whatever I want, though of course I won't do anything stupid that might hurt me. It was around 7pm. I was watching TV in my living room, though I spent more time on my phone than actually watching anything. It's been roughly 40 minutes since my parents left, and I was already feeling hungry. So I decided to get up and head into the kitchen to make myself a sandwich. I was looking through the cabinets as well as the drawers to find a plate and knife, when I heard a strange noise coming from outside. It wasn't a footstep, rather, it almost sounded like someone knocked on the wall on the outside. Although the noise startled me, I figured that it was a possum as they were pretty common in my area. I also had a few garbage cans in my backyard, so I figured that's where the noise came from. As I started making my sandwich, I heard the noise again, but this time louder. I tried to ignore it but it kept on repeating every 5 seconds or so. Our kitchen doesn't have a window to the backyard, so I couldn't see what was out there. The only way I could check is if I opened the door. However, I was afraid that the possums might get in, so I decided not to. Instead, I decided to finish up and head back into the living room. I sat there eating while on my phone, and the noise continued for roughly 15 seconds until it stopped. There was just pure silence, but no more than 4 seconds later, I can hear and see the doorknob turning from our kitchen. I never felt more scared of my life than at this moment right here. I wasted no time. I quickly got up from the sofa and ran upstairs. I'd say my speed was as fast as Usain Bolt at the 100 meter dash of 2009. Anyways, rather than going to my bedroom, I decided to head into my parents instead, as my dad kept a handgun inside of a safe. And luckily for me, I happen to know the code for reasons that I will not say in this story. As I lock the door behind me, I can hear footsteps coming from downstairs. And after hearing this, I quickly ran towards the safe to input the code. As I open the safe to reach for the gun, I can already hear the man coming upstairs. Though, I didn't know if he knew where I was. But just then, I can hear the man fidgeting with the doorknob and turning it slightly. I yelled out saying that I had a gun, but this didn't stop the man from trying to open the door. Whoever was out there did not care, and it was only a matter of moments before they break the door open and barge in. I had the gun point at the door, and roughly 20 seconds later, I could see its wing open. I could see the man. He looked roughly in his 40s. He had a black sweater on with grey trousers. I told him to stop, or else I was going to shoot him. But he didn't care. He took one step forward. I repeated myself, but the man took another step forward. It wasn't until he lunged at me is when I shot him. He fell to the floor, screaming in agony, and that was my chance to escape and call the police. Luckily for me, the operator said that a police car close by would be there in roughly 5 minutes. I was waiting outside in my front yard. This was the first time I ever shot someone, and I was afraid that I might have killed him. And to be honest, I felt more safe away from him than near him, even though I had a gun. I checked to see if the police car was coming, and I could see red and blue lights coming from a far distance. However, just then out of nowhere. I heard footsteps from my right side, and I saw the man smack me across the face. I nearly fell to the ground, as the man proceeded to kick me over and over again. To get a better idea of what was happening, try to imagine the ending of Call of Duty Ghost when Rorik manages to come back after you shot him. However, instead of the man kidnapping me, I managed to overpower him and shoot him in the leg. Once again the man was screaming, but he wasn't going to walk this one off easily. The police arrived, and they also called in an ambulance as well, and they took the man away. I didn't know anything about that man, and apparently neither did the police, but I'm just glad he's away. Needless to say, this was the first and only time I decided to stay home alone.